let's build an accordion with Twitter Bootstrap. And if you don't know what that is, it's this little item right here that has some buttons on it. And when you click on these buttons, it's going to show and hide some uh, content. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, that's okay. You can still follow along and you'll be able to put it on your own project. Let's get started. I'm going to switch over to my index.html file. And I'm going to open up a div. And it's going to have a class of accordion. Also need that div to have an ID. And we're going to give it an ID of questions. Okay, close that out. And within that div, I'm going to need another one. And it's going to have a class of accordion group. And within that div, I'm going to need a few more. The first one's going to have a class of accordion heading. Close that out. The second one's going to have a class of accordion body. And it's also going to have another class of collapse. And we want this class in here so that when we load our page, our content is automatically hidden. Close that out. And we'll need one final div within the accordion body. And it's going to have a class of accordion inner. And this will be the div that actually uh, holds all of our content. Uh, for each section of the accordion. In order for this to work, we're going to need two things. We're going to need a button for opening and closing our content. And then we're going to need a way to identify uh, which portion of the accordion to open uh, when that button is uh, pressed. So on our accordion dash body div, we're going to add an ID. And since I call the parent div questions, I'll have this one an ID of who. And inside of our accordion heading, I said we needed a button. So I'll have an anchor tag with the class of accordion toggle. And we'll also give it a BTN class uh, to make it look like a button. We're going to need a data toggle attribute with the value of collapse. And we're going to need to set the data parent, not that way, so that our button knows uh, which accordion it belongs to. Now, if you had multiple accordions, uh, this would make a huge deal because you have to make sure that the parent matches its actual parent. We called it questions. I'm going to open up a new line. And remember, we need to reference uh, the actual div that we want to open when we click this particular button and we gave this one an idea of who and I'll just put some close this anchor tag out and we'll add some content inside of our accordion inner and I'll put easy dev tooth and I'll save it switch over to my browser and I'm going to go back to my index.html. And there we go. We have our first uh, section of our accordion. When we click on it, the content that we put in here is shown. And click on it again, it's hidden. Uh, let's add some more really quick. I'm just going to copy and paste this whole group. And let's add three more. Let me scroll back up. Now remember, each individual uh, section of our accordion has a unique ID and its own unique button for toggling. So for our second one, we're going to have to change it. And I want to change this one to what. And I'll change it right here to what. Same thing here. And as you can guess, We'll need to change the other two. 
I'm going to change this one to Y really quickly. And also change the ID to Y. If you have them all the same, it's not going to behave uh, correctly. And let's change this one to how. And finally, I'll change this div to how. And that should be it. I'm going to save it. Switch back over to my browser and hit refresh. And now I have five different buttons. And when I click on a button, the accordion opens and closes. If I have uh, one area of the accordion open and I click on another one, it's going to, well, it's going to do nothing. I mean, what did I forget to do? Oh, it should be lowercase. Let me save this, go back, and refresh. There we go. So if I have one section up when, open and I uh, select on a button for a different section, it's going to close the other one and open the new one. And that's uh, basically it. If you want, you can change the content in here to make it uh, to make a little more sense. So under my what, I'm going to have easy web development tutorials. And then for my why, let's see, because web development is fun, I'll put cool. And how, we're going to learn one line of code at a time. I'll save that, switch back to my browser and hit refresh. And now it makes a little more sense, you got different content uh, under each accordion group. 